guys girl paris how are you all doing today so today i have another story time video this video is about the time my ex-boyfriend slash my <laughs> my neighbor's tires <laughs> all right i'm trying not to allegedly slash my neighbor's tires y'all all right so I was in a long distance relationship or whatever. Um, me and the guy, we have been talking for two years. Um, let's give him a name. We're going to call him Cray Cray. <laughs> be a little nuts. So anyway, me and Cray Cray have been talking for two years or whatever. Um, we met online. I've been meeting a lot of dudes online. But anyway, yeah, we met online. We have been talking. Had turned into a relationship. My whole family did not like him. So, um, so not only was it like <sighs> the long distance, but my family didn't get along with him. And I'm a very family oriented person or whatever. So my family, my friends, like everybody hated his guts. For several different reasons, basically because of like he was inconsistent. It's a lot of stories. It's a lot of backstories. Um, but anyway, I had kept trying to make it work, make it work, make it work with him. But it had been like so many red flags. The major biggest red flag was like after my surgery, he was supposed to came down to help me and he didn't ever come. Well, he came like two weeks later. <laughs> no, maybe like a month later. I don't remember the exact time frame. He ain't come when he was supposed to. And so like I had to stay at my family's house. Um, Sorry. I had to stay at my family's house for a, a longer period of time basically because he didn't do what he was supposed to do. He didn't come through like he was supposed to. Um I had ankle surgery in 2019, I think, on my right ankle. And I couldn't walk. I was off of work for like four months. Um, and at the time I lived in an apartment that had upstairs and downstairs. So I couldn't I couldn't put no rest no um pressure on my foot. So I couldn't go home. So I had to stay at my family's house for like a whole month before I was even able to go to my house. And even when I did get go to my house, like I had a scooter. I had to scoot up the stairs. Like it was just it was just bad. You know, I couldn't do nothing for myself. So you would think I'm in a relationship or whatever your person <laughs> your spouse is supposed to be there to help you and assist you through these type of things and he wasn't so like i said it's no justification or whatever um but coupled with the fact that it was a long distance relationship he was being very inconsistent um my family didn't get along with him i had just oh yeah and so at this point we're at the two-year mark or whatever and he had supposed to be coming to move to to where my city or whatever because he was two hours away and I used to like always have to travel to go see him but he did start coming down but whatever so anyway I was getting fed up and I ended up I won't say start talking to my neighbor but my neighbor kept hitting on me and you know one day <laughs> it just led to the next thing you know something one thing led to another and i ended up talking to my neighbor you know how you talk to your neighbors whatever <laughs> so um did it happen once or twice i don't remember i think it was twice so um yeah he so let me tell you i am not a good liar i don't have a good poker face so i ended up telling him what happened um, and he ended up getting mad. Now, mind you, he a big dude because I'm a big girl. I, I need to be dating a big guy or whatever. So he, he was a big guy. And I remember, now let me tell you about the shady part though. I understand a man getting mad and everything and you having your anger. That's cool. I understand that. Give, give you that time to get over it or whatever. But <clears throat> mind you, he did not live here. So if he's trying to sit there and attack my neighbor, nigga, you're not thinking about the repercussions of when you go home, I still got to deal with this nigga. So he's like trying to fight him, running out the house, trying to fight him as he walking up the stairs. And I'm like trying to hold him in the house. It was just a lot of ghetto. It was a lot of drama. So anyway, um, long story short, 
<sighs> allegedly something happened to the guy's car now mind you this guy had a nice car he had like a i ain't gonna even say what type of car he had he had a nice car just know that like a luxury car and um some type of way his tires ended up flat i think like is either two or four tires mind you don't play with people's cars because that is something that is expensive and mind you around the time that this happened it was the holidays so i'm trying to tell this nigga like don't touch his property i did not know i did not condone this in no way shape or form i was like do not do that so to me i'm gonna just say how i say it how i feel i feel like that was a bitch ass nigga move because i'm like if somebody flatten my tires i'm gonna be pissed off because tires is expensive like you don't be destroying people's property and like i said mind you this nigga had a nice car so like even my tires on my car is expensive his tires probably twice as much as mine so i know i would have been wanting to fight <laughs> you know if you fucking up my property so i i did apologize to the guy but at that point he wasn't trying to hear nothing that i had to say <laughs> so it was so bad so yeah it was it was bad it was, a, it was a messy 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 situation i i do know that it was a messy situation and i don't feel like i was part of the mess because i was getting ready to break up with him and the nigga knew i had a boyfriend he knew i had a boyfriend because he seen them come over so that's like for me saying um i know somebody got a girlfriend and i'm gonna still talk to you but get mad if your girlfriend stepped out my doorstep. Like, nigga, you kind of brought that onto yourself. You see what I'm saying? Like, you deal with the repercussions. You wasn't thinking about it in that moment. And I tried to stop all the extra drama. But, I mean, I'm not about to jump in between two niggas fighting. Like, what, <laughs> what you want me to do? I mean, I ain't crazy. Like, you see what I'm saying? So, I, it wasn't nothing I could do. I did what I could do. I, I, oh, let me tell y'all. The drama. So then anyway, so after the the tires ended up flat, the little nigga, the next door neighbor decided to be a little bitch and call the, the leasing office and what it had me. Mind you, I do not be in no drama. I keep it cute, keep it classy. I don't be in this foolishness. So I was mad at both of them. He this nigga snitched on me to the leasing office and was like, they calling me like you need to control your neighbors. So mind you. There's another reason why I dumped my boyfriend because, nigga, you could have got me put out my apartment. Like, you don't care. You just going back to your house like, oh, I'm going to do what I do and go back home. And then it's going to be the end of it. Like, you didn't ever think about none of the repercussions of you bringing all this drama to my doorstep. The neighbor didn't care about all the drama. So, mind y'all, I moved. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't have time to deal with this foolishness. And mind you, at the time didn't think about if the guy tried to retaliate against me try to get somebody to fight me like i said i don't be in a drama <sighs> Ugh, it just sounds so messy i don't even know what to say like it's just the foolishness the ghetto i can't i can't deal with it all right y'all so then let me tell you so after the fact my boyfriend had the nerve i have a teenage daughter or whatever he had the nerve to text her and tell her that he had planned on proposing to me and the only reason why we're breaking up is because I cheated with the neighbor. Like, who brings somebody's kids into something and, like, that's okay? So, he just was, like, hella childish. Um, Yeah, it was crazy. I, I just thought about that as I was rehashing this story because I'm like, who would do such a thing? Who who sits there and text somebody's kids and bring them into it and be like, yeah, your mama <laughs> was messing around with a neighbor. Like, who, she, that has nothing to do with her. You know, like, basically, at this point, he was just so salty. And so he was just, like, on a smear campaign to smear my name. But I'm like, you, you did it to yourself. You brought it on yourself because... You're inconsistent. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. If you're handling your business, I wouldn't have no reason to talk to my neighbor. So, you know, like, we went for two years, a whole two years. I didn't talk to nobody. So, why do you think, at the end of the day, I started talking to somebody else? So, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I mean, yeah, of course, I do need to take some accountability for it. But I think all parties involved need to take some kind of accountability. It was just, it was a messy situation, y'all. So, learn from my 
messy situation, the messy boots. <laughs> Don't get involved in the mess, child. Stay out the mess. All right. Thank you for listening to my story time. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't nothing too crazy. Talk to you later. Bye. follow me on social media. I am way more active on my Instagram page, um, but I also have Twitter as well. You can click the link tree. It'll take you directly to all of my links and have a good one. Bye.